Hi folks, welcome back. We're on the 430 project again, and what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to take up the excessive end play that we had on the input shaft of the transmission. Now, if you remember some time back in the last video when we were looking at this transmission, we had some excessive end play due to wear on this input shaft to this transmission. So what I've done is I've basically brought back just the race for this bearing here. And we're going to put the original thickness of shim pack back on the bearing. We're going to remount it to the front of the uh, transmission case and then we're going to take a dial indicator and see how much in play that we have then we will adjust accordingly by removing shims off of this shim pack so stay tuned and we'll see what we get into okay I've wiped everything off of uh, the shaft I've already cleaned the front mounting surface of that and I'm not even putting any lubricant in because this will be coming back off. I did have a bad needle bearing uh, which is actually the carrier bearing for the PTO input drive gear. So I've got that out. I don't have any seals or anything that is going to interfere with us checking what this end play might be. So I'm going to put this right back in here. There we go. Why is it pretty? Close tolerance fit on that. So what we'll do is we will just uh, ease it in with wrong bolt there. There is one countersunk uh, bolt and that goes in the very bottom. It is a, uh, so we're going to ease this in until we get it up flush with the case. start in we'll get this snugged up here and then we will bring you back close to getting the bearing quill adjusted up into the uh, or seated into the front of the transmission case and we're just gonna just snug it up. And okay. All right. This is what I was talking about on the end play of the transmission. So I've got a dial indicator here. We will see if we can get this mounted. It looks like we're okay right there. Let's see if I can bring this around. Just somewhere like that. Okay. Not sure if you can see that, but we are pretty close to zero there, and I'm gonna pull the shaft out. Okay. You have to stand up. All right, that is at 28. Okay, 
you did not we were not seated all the way back in the bore so right there so that is zero pushing on the shaft and we are at about 31 thousandths Okay, we zero back there, about 31 thousandths clearance. I'm going to check in the manual and see what they say the uh, specific uh, tolerance is for that, and I'll, bring, I'll be right back. Check the tolerance or the running clearance of this input shaft bearing in the INT manual, and it calls for a running clearance of two to four thousandths on the input shaft of the five-speed transmission with a continuous PTO. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the dial indicator. I brought my calipers, also brought a zero to one micrometer, and we're going to go through the shim pack of this bearing, and we're going to remove enough shims to get us back into tolerance. So let's get started. Now that we've got our bolts removed, we can work our quill out. I'm gonna lay it right down here on the face or the top of the transmission case. I'm going to get my glasses on and let's see what we've got here. Okay. All right, that first shim that came off is a two thousandths. So we had 31 thousandths. So let's go down through. I am sure there are some thicker, thicker shims in here. Uh, this feels like another two thousandths probably. Double check this one right fast. Yes, it is another two thousands. So they are right there. We'll get down to our final fine tolerances there, I believe. Next ones are quite a bit thicker. Okay. Five, six, seven. Seven thousandths. Now, that was certainly a couple that was stuck together, so. We have another two, and then probably a five. Yes, okay. So we got three twos, a five. Both of these are probably five as well. I believe there are some thicker shims on the, we still haven't gotten to, so uh, yes, that is a five. So that is a five as well. Okay. Hopefully they will have some ten thousandths shims. close yeah okay Let's see what we've got there okay 
that is the ten thousandths. So we had thirty-one thousandths in play, and we're shooting for a running clearance of two to four. So uh, that would be twenty-seven thousandths. So we'll basically look for twenty six thousandths and see where we can get in here so so if we take out making sure that it almost looks like uh, i believe it is just a 10 there's a 10 and there is 20. Okay. And we'll come back to the other stack. And we should be able to remove a five. That is a five. And a two. Should be 27 thousandths. So that theoretically should bring us close to four thousandths. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to carefully wipe each one of these off. And restack them on the quill. Reassemble it and recheck our clearances. I'll bring you back. Okay. We've got the quill and the reduced chim pack back in the tractor transmission case. Let's see where we ended up. Okay, it looks like, okay, we're not quite zero. That we are at three thousandths, which is actually just right. It's good if you can hit your tolerances about halfway in the middle. And uh, whether or not I didn't have the shim pack tightened quite as much as I could have but I like that so I'm going to leave that right like it is I will have to re or I will have to disassemble this again because I have the needle bearing to put in and then I also have the PTO drive gear to install but now I'm going to be able to go ahead get this permanently installed the pto uh, input drive gear installed the uh, driven gear installed and the front case and we'll be close to closing the front of this transmission up so i hope you enjoyed that little uh, section of working on this transmission one thing that you don't ever want to do is when you remove shims like this don't throw them away. Store them in a safe place because I do intend someday of going completely through this transmission. And with the new bearings, more than likely, I'll have to reinstall some of these shims back in. So I'll put these in the file cabinet. I'll tag them where they go to and uh, we'll get them uh, 
kept in a safe place for possible future use. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll continue on with this project uh, in a little while. Thanks a lot.